Oh, we're in the foothills of the Southern Alps of New Zealand. It's springtime and the forecast is for rain. Indy and I are heading out to camp overnight under a tarp. We haven't brought a tent because I'd actually like to enjoy being able to see the rain. And if the snow that's forecast for the early evening does come, which it might or might not, we'll see. It'd be so nice to be able to sit there with a warm fire, a good meal, and be able to see the snow and the rain around us. I'm not sure if I'm crazy though, but um, just in case we get cold, I've brought two uh, four season sleeping bags that can zip together so that Indy and I can share a sleeping bag. This is either gonna be the best idea or the absolute worst. Should we get going? She's rolling in something. Oh, I do not want to share my sleeping bag with a dog that's rolled in another animal's poo. That does not sound like fun. Come here. What have you been doing? Hey? What have you been doing? Oh! Hey guys, thank you for buying us some camping treats on Buy Me A Coffee and thank you for supporting us through the YouTube Super Thanks. Those donations that you guys make mean a lot to me, a hell of a lot. It enables me to do what I do and it allows Indy to have a couple of treats. So thank you so much. Would you like, oh, you know what to do. Indy says thanks guys. You ready? So what I'm thinking about here is that the little bit of wind that we are gonna get is coming from the southeast, which is that direction there. And I'd like to be able to look up the valley. So I'm gonna put the tarp across here with, at this stage I'm going to keep it up high, but if the wind picks up and when it um, gets dark, I'm going to put the, what would you call it, the windward side down. But for now, I just want to be able to enjoy this view because this is amazing. We're up nice and high, which is just what I wanted. I wanted to be near the river, but I didn't want to be down and closed in a little valley. So this is absolutely fantastic. comes the rain. You always tempt fate if you leave stuff out. It's bound to start raining. Hello. How was your treat? Is that good? Uh uh, no, 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 that's not yours.
did I pull everything out? Oh. Some people have such lovely tidy packs, they just have like a lovely bag before we stack them. But I find when I'm packing my pack, I'm trying to squish everything into the tiny little crevices. And I can't do that if it's all in one bag. So I've often got things separate so I can squeeze them into all the spaces. It just means it's very messy at the other end. So I've got a ground sheet today, which is new for me. <laughs> but it's not a new ground sheet. It is a very, very old bathtub floor of the first original tent that I ever owned. 23 years old and the tent itself is completely kaput. So it's been sitting around for quite a few years and I decided rather than it sitting around I'm going to cut the main part of the tent off and use the floor as a ground sheet. Not forever, one day I will buy a proper ground sheet. But why spend money on things like that when there's other things you really need? The nice thing about this ground sheet is because it came off a tent, it's got some peg down points on the corners. Yeah, I don't really know about the placement. It's okay for now. But if I drop the back of the tarp down, then the ground sheet won't be on the cover. We'll leave it for now. We might end up changing it. It just really depends if the wind comes up. Hello. What are you thinking? The rain keeps coming and going, doesn't it? So I tell you what, you and I go through the of water, don't we? We've got to go down to the river and get some water. Is that right? Go down and get some water and we'll go and pick some firewood. So I'm going to put another layer of warm clothing on because it will cool down really quickly and on that note I think it's time to go and get some firewood. I need to collect some rocks to make a fire pit, I need to collect some firewood and India and I need some water because the uh, water bladder that I brought from home. Last time it was cleaned out, whoever did it, and it might have been me, left a bit of like dishwashing detergent residue in it. 
So even though I had it full of water, when I went to pour some water for Indy at the car to have a drink, I realised it's a little bit bubbly. So not ideal for drinking. So Indy's had quite a few drinks on the way here at the Little Rivers, but I haven't had anything to drink, so we're going to go down to the river and get some water. Rain's coming and going. Some beautiful pitter pattering on the tarp right now, which actually makes me want to stay here and have a hot chocolate. But I don't have any water, so I can't do that. Okay, trip down to the river. Oh, you want to go to the river? <laughs> we have a river by our house. So when I say to her, do you want to go to the river? It means going for a walk. You'd think this girl hadn't had a walk. Now don't sit on me, not with your stinkiness. Actually, I think the stinky stuff that she rolled in was all on her dog uh, harness. So, I think it's going to be okay. Right, everything is under cover. Put my raincoat back on, grab my saw, and we're on our way. So the river's down there. I have no idea how to get down there though. <laughs> Sensible thing would be to go back the way we came, but that's a long way. This looks promising. Although there's no specific tracks in this little part of the forest park, you can tell that people have been up the valley because there's like these little self-made paths, not really tracks, but just areas that people have obviously traveled a bit on a little bit more frequently than others having said that lots of windfall trees and whatnot in the way Are we going the tricky way, pup? Where are we going? All right. We'll persevere.
absolutely saturated now. <laughs> that was such a wet walk. But it's going to be worth it for that hot chocolate, that's for sure. <laughs> and he's already under the cover waiting for me. coming down now. That is really heavy consistent rain. And I want to show you something. It's really pretty. I might just need to adjust the camera so you guys can see. So 
I'm not sure how much you can see because it's quite misty. But up at the top of the valley, above that tiny little waterfall that you can see in the middle of the frame, can you see the snow on the ground? So it was forecast to snow this evening, but it looks like it's come a bit earlier than was forecast. I don't know if it's going to get down here. That's a few hundred metres above us. We're probably sitting at about... meters here. What's that in feet? Maybe 2,500? Something like that. So I'm not sure if the snow will get down here, but if it does, it'll only be a little bit anyway. It's my fault that I didn't go and get the firewood when it was dry. That would have been very smart, wouldn't it? Especially because now the kindling is all going to be wet. I hear you say it was raining in this area yesterday and this morning, so you're quite right, it would have been wet anyway. But I've got to go and get firewood and make a fire pit, which means putting back on my wet weather gear. Oh, thank you, thank you for your kisses, thank you very much. What do you think? Are you going to stay here? I think you should stay here because you're going to get wet. you down again. Okay, that's the plan. I'm going to go get some firewood, make a fire pit. Depending on how much firewood I can get, I might even get the fire lit soon. Because based on that snow, you can imagine it's cold. Hi. Hello. You know what she's after, hey? She thinks it's dinner time. I'll tell you what, let's get firewood, let's get a fire set up. Once the fire's going, you can have your dinner. Hey. This stuff's all pretty rotten. beautiful pieces of wood here are from home. I always bring a couple just to get a fire going. For me personally it's worth the weight of bringing them in. Just in order to guarantee a fire. Well, hopefully to guarantee a fire. There's never a guarantee is there?
This green stuff that you can see on the wood is called old man's beard. I think this is when my uh, pump might come in handy. <laughs> it ruins the serenity, doesn't it? But it works. If you're Australian, you know what I'm referring to when I say, ah, the serenity. I left my saw at home. The only thing is, I can remember, distinctly remember sliding it into my pack. So it's a bit of a worry because I don't know where it is. I hope I've left it at home or maybe it fell out when I was, I don't know, repacking. So that actually makes life really hard because I don't have an axe and I don't have a saw. Normally I would um, cut down a fairly large branch and cut it up into nice rounds but instead what I'm going to have to do is just regularly feed the fire with smaller pieces I did manage to snap some branches and then use that old trick of putting them between two branches and using the weight of my body to snap them but quite a few of these I haven't been able to snap so we'll just have to see. I might have to keep going in and out of the bush to get small pieces. I have injured myself before snapping firewood. It kicked up and hit me in the nose. So I do want to be careful that I don't do myself a, myself an injury. I think I'm going to have a smoky fire. I just have to admit that it's going to be smoky. But then you look at how wet the wood is. I don't know if you can see from there, but it's very wet. So what do you expect? It's going to be smoky, but it's lovely and warm. And now I have the sound of the rain and the sound of the fire. And the nagging of the dog. Hello dog. Hello dog. Is it dinner time dog dog? Oh, time for a downward dog. Indy, is it dinner time? Ooh, dinner time. All right, let's give you some dinner. I just need to wash my hands. There we go. Ready, sit.
So this is the plan. Doesn't this look cosy? <laughs> We're on a little bit of a slope, which is not ideal, but I think what I'll do is when we go to sleep, I'll put the pack down the end by our feet. So if we do start to slide, at least there's a bit of a barrier. But the two sleeping bags, they zip up together. Let's give them a demo, Indy. Obviously, I need her around the other way. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, mischief. Hello, mischief. Are you going to be all elbows and knees tonight? Or are you going to keep nice and still? Come, let's open this up. All right, I'm hopping out. Excuse me. Doo -doo. She really is all elbows. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what these are. <laughs> I guess these are her elbows. She is so bony. Is it time for mulled wine? Okay, so the story with my mulled wine, because I've had it a few times. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll be thinking, what? Does this woman only ever have mulled wine? I never have mulled wine at home. Ever. But I love red wine when I'm out camping. The only thing is, in winter, the red wine is cold. And I don't know about you, if you like red wine, but I do not like cold red wine. So I've discovered mulled wine, heated up nice and hot. It's the perfect treat for a winter evening. better. I blocked you out, didn't I? I'm enjoying this little guy. It's just a cheapo, who's it, Uniflame. It's just a, a cheapo uh, windshield, but it really does help. Now, just before I left for my trip, I found out that a little parcel had arrived for me. Oh, that's good. She's just drinking out of her bowl. Coming off the tarp. So a parcel had arrived for me from Fire Maple, but I didn't have time to go and get it. And in that parcel are a couple of things, and one of them is a small burner, an ultra lightweight burner that just goes directly onto a gas canister common little thing but I've been wanting one for a while because this one that I've got is actually quite bulky even though it doesn't really look like it when you fold it up it's fairly bulky because of all the bits that stick off it but also the self-ignition has broken which means I always have to make sure that I've got a lighter or something like that with me. It's not the hottest fire because the wood's not the best quality. But it is lovely. Much better than no fire at all. I measured this out at home to make sure I didn't have too much or too little. One glass of wine. And of course, a little bit of vegetation floating in it. You always have to have some vegetation floating in your tea or your coffee or your wine. It's just part of camping. Ooh, yum. Cheers! A 
Amazing. Amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I hope you're relaxing while you watch it because it's so relaxing out here. I love how the rain just comes and goes. It eased off for a while. I was able to go out and get a bit more firewood without getting too wet. And now it's heavy again. I've got a book that I've almost finished reading. So I'm going to finish reading that. And then it's going to be time for some dinner. And I have brought something along with me that I have had before on one of my camps because I absolutely love it. And that is mashed potato, instant mash with smoked salmon, hot smoked salmon, and this time I've bought asparagus, so that should be amazing. And I've got some little treats for afterwards. Treats that I bought with the donations that you guys left for Indy and I on Buy Me A Coffee and YouTube Super Thanks. So thank you so much. to everybody who's watching thank you for pressing the like button and if you haven't press it please it really helps it's got nothing to do with my ego it's not about how many people like my video for my ego it's all about YouTube knowing that people like the video so you've got to tell them that you like it by watching it the whole way through by pressing the like button by subscribing it's a fantastic way to support the channel. So things like that make a real difference to us. Thank you so much. My book is calling. I'll catch up with you again at dinner time.
whole lot of wood on to crank up the fire while I'm eating. It's so unusual for me to be able to find so much dry wood. It's actually really nice. Especially considering I don't have my saw. salmon, asparagus and mashed potato. Yum! You might get the salmon skin. Although right now she looks pretty happy just sleeping. At this stage the wind hasn't picked up. So we might be able to keep the tarp up nice and high overnight. I was thinking if it got really windy it would be very cold. But also it blows the rain in under the tarp. But we might be able to leave it like this. I'm going to have my dinner and then I'm going to have a little bit of dessert. I've got a treat. <laughs> Thanks to you guys. And I might have a second hot chocolate see how I feel. And then it's just time to get bed ready. But I don't have much to do. The only thing I need to do is inflate my air mattress. There you go, snowflake. I'm sure it's really hard to see, but there's the snow just up on the hill. I'm just gonna let the fire go out. Just for now, the last little bit of glow is so welcome and so warming. It's 
so lovely just to lie in bed and watch it. Hello. You look a bit cosy. Are you cosy? Ah. <laughs> Ready for bed. I'm just laying Indy's blanket down so that if she wants to come and lie on here with her dirty paws, I'm not having to clean an entire sleeping bag. <laughs> it's a juggling act with a dog. She wants to wander off and then her paws get dirty and then she wants to climb back on the sleeping bags. So consensus on the sleeping bag system. Amazing. Amazing. I have not been that warm this whole winter. And, and yes, it's spring. It's um, early November, but it's cold. I mean, it's it was snowing last night just up here on the hills. It's really cold. Uh, 
and I was so warm overnight so so warm she was super snuggly she didn't even move once like seriously she didn't move once this morning when she did wake up um, she thrashed around and she's a bit crazy but she was so still in the night and I was so warm so I'm definitely going to do that again so this morning I have had my coffee and then I shot down to the river while it was still uh, pretty pretty nice and not raining I went and got a whole lot of water and actually what I did was I left my water bottles down there for a bit and went for about a half hour walk up the valley like up the river it gets quite gorgy so it's quite steep and there's a lot of um, slips and stuff that have come down but it looks really exciting so I think I'm gonna have to try and go up there in the future and see if I can get all the way up to that waterfall there might even be a place to camp but probably it might be a bivy bag kind of scenario because I don't think there'll be a whole lot of flat ground speaking of bivy bag I got given a bivy bag as a gift for my birthday and I'm so looking forward to using it so I'm just gonna have to wait for a trip where I'm not taking Indy because uh, I don't know it just defeats the point doesn't it to take an ultra lightweight system just a sleeping bag mat and bivy bag if you then have to carry a whole lot of gear for a dog so sadly uh, when I do use that bivy bag Indy will be staying at home with the family and I'll probably shoot up somewhere nice and high do an ultra lightweight camp uh, I have also raised the tarp up as you can see just so that we can enjoy this beautiful view I cinched it down last night because it was starting to snow and the snow didn't settle I could hear it as I was going off to sleep okay. yeah. I could hear it but it just didn't settle or it was melted by this morning anyway so I am going to have my porridge now and um, I bought enough coffee for a second coffee I've also saved some of my hot chocolate from last night so maybe <laughs> maybe a mochaccino <laughs> a bush mochaccino not a fancy one I wonder if you guys can hear the rain just light it's actually so nice I'm in love with this spot I'm in love with this spot this is so cool I'm just going to finish up my drink and then it's time to do the pack up which shouldn't take too long because I don't actually have that much to do I don't have a tent which is really great but I do have to condense these sleeping bags down so I've brought with me um, one of the bags from Flextail and I'm going to use the tiny pump 2x to shrink those down so they fit neatly into my pack um, I'm going to leave the tarp up to the end because that's going to give me some protection from the rain which just keeps coming and going and I don't want to chance it I don't want to get wet I've got to break down the fireplace make sure that I leave no trace that's really important to me so I will crack on and do that now all packed up and ready to go guys just the tarp to come down now but I'm going to do that last 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 I'm going to wrap it up inside the ground sheet and stick it on the top of my pack hey from Indy and I both we just want to say thank you so much for coming with us on this trip thanks for joining us on our adventures if you're not subscribed and you want to see more of our channel please make sure you subscribe and um, Indy and I will look forward to seeing you guys on the next adventure hopefully it'll be a bit warmer <laughs> see you then everyone bye time to go